Imagine if the only way that adults could speak is like children, monotone and screaming. <laughs> we do. <laughs> well, get your boo boos and your babas ready because here we go! This episode is filmed in front of a studio audience and it's brought to you by Aguila's Hit Away. The Lighthouse Keep Up! <laughs> What up, y'all? And welcome back to the Dumb Podcast. I am Don Dario. And I'm Kev the All-Star. Today on the Ha Ha Hack, we're going to be talking about rehearsal, the things that we do to prepare for a show. Kev the All-Star, what are we going to be talking about for the dumb topic, sir? Thanks, Don. Actually, we're going to be talking about adultism and how we can check ourselves. That's right. Yeah. And as always, we're with a little jiggity joke, joke session. So kick back, chillax, and enjoy. Welcome back to the Dumb Podcast, folks. We've got an amazing show for you today. We've got a very funny comedian that we actually recently just met, and he absolutely blew our minds. Killed it. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me give it up for Damien Ramos. Yo! What up? What up, man? How are you, brother? I'm doing pretty good. I'm, uh... Thank you for being here. Thank actually. you for having me. People yeah. don't usually let me do shit with them, so this is pretty <laughs> cool. Like, That's good. It makes me feel liked. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. That's good, man. That's good. It's <laughs> it's awesome to have you here, dude. The last time well, we first saw Damien was at the Purple, Purple Turtle. Turtle. So uh, our friend Jesse Ever uh, puts on shows there all the time, and which he's been kicking ass. Good job, Jesse. We were both just there chilling, right? We were Neither both just chilling to the, support the lineup, yeah. And we didn't, we've never met him before, and just boom, dude, just got me laughing up out of my seat. The entire fucking place was. <laughs> I, I was a few wings deep. It was, it was fun. <laughs> I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you would, you had said you had just that was your first time doing a show. You had taken like a two year break because of the. The craziness that had happened, you know, we don't want to say it because, you know, <laughs> but uh, you had taken a break, right? Yeah, because of um, <laughs> marriage. Uh, <laughs> oh, that two-year no, break. Really, that, uh, shit. that two-year break. No, yeah, like, well, well with 2020, I, I was still doing comedy with, right. um, what are those things called? Zoom mics. Zoom. Like, that That shit was fun. That kept me from um, offing myself a few times. But, like, <laughs> the... Uh, yeah, like I, I uh, went a little while just like focusing on being a dad and a husband and how dare you? Uh, Look at that, I, a comedian, I know, right? a comedian with responsibilities. Wow. Oh. oh. And I did some like mental health stuff. Like it was pretty cool. Dude, Dude that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Found out that all I needed was meth. Like drugs. <laughs> are Man, great. Wow. That's all we ever uh, need. Adderall. The, the, the therapist is a drug dealer. Like it's, uh, I, I have ADHD. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, 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 I like, I'm a better person. So you did take a break at that point, but how long um, would you say all together would you say that you've been doing comedy? Uh, like, yeah, like accumulatively since I was 22. So how old am I now? 28. So like six years. Uh, oh, cool. But... Dang. At that time too, like I, I started doing comedy. Uh, I got a new car. I had all these plans, <laughs> and then I got to go pregnant. So it's like uh, <laughs> went too far ahead of myself, you know. Like when, when you when you really feel good, like yeah. sometimes bad shit happens. Hey, when you're and, Mexican, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, I mean it's not you. necessarily bad because like I love my daughter oh, more yeah, than anything know, in the world. But but, uh, but yeah, so uh, that happened, and um, I took a decent amount of break and then some breaks in between um so yeah like cumulatively i would say like maybe like three years if, if you really like cut it down oh yeah to like what i've actually done but yeah. I've, I've done some like decent stuff i used to do the uh this week sucks tonight i used mm. to be a uh oh. a regular on that show Hell yeah. nice uh shout out mike turner and anwar right yeah. right big time uh they freaking 
they inspired me a lot throughout my, my comedy thing. I, I actually, the reason I started doing comedy, well, like, if I want to take it back to when I was a little baby, I saw, I watched, um, Eddie Murphy's Raw. Ah, and, uh, always. The greatness. Everybody, Rodney Dangerfield. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's another yes. guru. I, that's dude, one of mine, dude. Man, he's I would underrated, pace man. back and forth in my room when I was little talking to my Power Rangers and I would do, uh, I guess, no respect. I like, did it last <laughs> night. Yeah, I would, I would fucking, I would do all his jokes. I love the self-deprecating uh, humor. Like, awesome. I, I had low self-esteem as early as I can remember. Yeah. Wow. So, like, it, it was like, it really hit a point to me. I was like, oh shit, it's cool to like feel ugly. Like it's, yeah. it's cool to like, like you could make fun with it. Right. But you you know what? People laugh. Yeah. You know what I think like, uh, was my main thing with Rodney Dangerfield is that I was, I was a kid, you know, and yeah, his, his stuff is funny. Uh, but it's when he does his, big eyes he turns you're into just, like a you dumb fuck like a cartoon you know <laughs> yeah what I mean? you're like oh shit this is a cartoon it's a live cartoon and that's what i always thought of him and he was crazy and funny yeah, the, and the comedy isn't awesome. just written like it's yeah. not it's not just the written jokes it's like right. the facial expression yep. the, the it's voice funny. the it's delivery all it's all emotion man yeah it's all emotion i mean who better could you cast as uh the dad in a uh, uh natural born killers <laughs> what <laughs> if Oh, come on. Have y'all not seen National Born Killers? Nah. Oh, oh yes. He's a dad. He's like he's all dirty. He's, he's got the wife beard. It's, it's all dirty. He, he oh, he looks like the typical guy that's like, Ugh. they kill him. He's their first kill. But anyway, I don't want to spoil the movie. Oh, if you haven't movie. checked it out. I, no, I don't want to see Rodney Dangerfield as a child molester. I think that's like, <laughs> they don't yeah, like going do. graphic one of those. Yeah, he, he gets murdered. It's a great movie. It's one of the greatest oh, films ever it's one of the greatest made. movies ever. Yeah. Like, I love Michael Rappaport, but there's a ludicrous music video <laughs> where he, like, Michael Rappaport plays a child molester. Mm. That's uh, Runaway Love. If you haven't right. seen that music video, Michael Rappaport makes, like, an awkward cameo. Like, he was big at the time. Like, I think he had a sitcom, Jeez. even. Already? Like, yeah. And, like, he'd, he'd start... I just think like if anybody ever approached me with the role like oh yeah and then you want to play like, a, a rapist yeah like right <laughs> yeah. I told totally like, you down to play a gay go, guy hey, you know like I'll that's fine guy, yeah but not that actually if you're doing a role if if you're out there and right. you need someone to play a gay guy I fucking got you <laughs> he said he'll take fluffing roles Fl fluffing roles um, I don't even have to I don't even have to be on camera. Uh, I get all my shit can be ah. off camera. Oh, because uh, you gotta like, it's it's not that like you can you don't have to. Not everything's caught on camera. No, you know? of course not. Like like sometimes we were just talking, it's like it's on comedy when we got a show. Yeah, the best jokes are in the green room. Yeah, and like, but it but it it <laughs> adds on great. to what you actually get, yes, you know. Yes. So sometimes if you fuck a guy backstage, it can add on <laughs> to what the movie is. Oh, what? That, I agree. I completely agree. Of course you do. <laughs> How do you think I got on the dumb podcast? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what well, you gotta you do. Gotta Show do business. what you gotta do. Here's a resume. Uh, hand it in when you leave, please, sir. Uh, resume. A motherfucking application. Anyway, dude, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, this uh, segment that we're about to start right now is called the Ha Ha Hack. This is where we share our experiences of doing comedy while we're all in the trenches together. All right, because you know, look, we're not pros just yet, but. We've learned some stuff along the way, and you know we don't mind sharing. And we probably got something that we can share with y'all, or you can leave it in the comments and share with us. Yep, exactly. So today on the Ha Ha Hack, we're gonna be talking about rehearsals. Like, what do you do to rehearse to get ready for uh, a performance? Right? Like, there's practices, all that, but like yeah. right up on that day, as you're going to the show, as you're doing, like, what type of things do we all do? Rub one out. I know for me, one is memorizing my act. That's number one, you know? Um, what did you say? I said rub one out. Oh, yeah. that's actually number one. In and the then... shower, too. Mine specifically, I have to be in the shower. <laughs> shower yeah. between his toes. Yeah. yeah. In the the, it has to be in the shower? I have to finish all my loofah. It's a thing. No, is the water... <laughs> no, <Nah>, I've... <laughs> Someone brought this up to me, and I thought it was very strange. Is the water running, or is it just a dry shower? Water's running. Yes, right? Because that's fucking weird. So wait, people- Are you a psychopath? People masturbate in a dry this shower? This specific, I'm not- No. Uh, you know who on. you are, and I'm not gonna say your name, and I'm 
really want to. I don't know who you are, but I love you anyways That's because some special shit. Because I thought maybe it was like after the shower, like with the mist and the steam still in there. What if they just no, like standing? That's just what they do. They like standing, but behind the curtain because they feel privacy. That, yeah, and then there's a drain to take care of it. I think that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to think it's fine either. Like, no, it's, like, like it's do their you, pro- do you. You know, Bobby Brown said it's, a, it's you. your prerogative. <laughs> do what the hell you want to do. Do what you want to do. That's do right. what you want to do. Don want to do. That's right. <laughs> it's my prerogative. Oh, that's going to be my next one. You hear that? It sounded good. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so, Thanks yeah, memorizing. I got act. some new shit to try when I get home. <laughs> Dry shower, here dry we come. Shower. Uh, natural Check born killers. The dry <laughs> shower. Put natural born killers on. Dry shower. Yeah, we, are we plugging here? Dry and, shower. And watch shower coffee. And done. shower coffee at the same time. You do oh kill the whole thing. Yeah, that That's was, great. Uh, uh, steamy. Uh, all right, the other thing that I do is I uh, I choose what to wear. What about In you? In the shower? In the shower. Just playing. All Specifically right, in Back the shower. Business. Wet as fuck. Because uh, it looks better. I mean, that's how you're going to be on stage. Soaking, sweating. I'm always uh, on stage. Though. Serious. What do you guys wear? Do you, do you like, actually pick shit out? You're just like, fuck So, it. I do have a real... So, like, uh, growing up, like, video games was my shit. Like, my, my, my Nintendo, my... Um, my Sega Genesis, those are my best friends growing up. Yeah. And uh, so, like, I feel comfort in video games. Yeah. So whenever I do any sort of comedy, I usually make sure to wear a shirt from a video. Like, this is Oh, it's always Metroid. a video game? Like, Metroid. yeah. Oh, so that's nice. why I was thrown off, man, because when, when I shook your hand when you showed up, I was like... I was I just pictured You're Iron shot. Maiden. No, yeah, I, was I don't like, know shit but he about had the Iron flannel Maiden. over, <laughs> and I went, that doesn't say Iron Maiden, but I... I think it does, but I'm like, nah, it can't. That's why. Because I've yeah. never seen that album cover either from Iron Maiden. I've never seen Man. that one either. I mean, I had... Let's see it again. You got me. Go yeah, because it's like Flip a... Around. What up, y'all? Yeah, it's like a... It's what like up, a Adam? play off of it. It's Armored Maiden yeah. instead of Iron Maiden. And was that too far to hear? Yeah. But, uh... Oh, I had to stand up. Uh, that's go. as much as I'm standing sexy. up. My, that's sexy. my calves can't support more than a few seconds. Well, that's more than I can do right now, man. I've got vertigo or Until he gets shit. the shower down, then he'll be able to stand up just yeah. fine. Yeah, all you motherfuckers are going to see Don Dario <laughs> die tonight. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'll definitely go to a hospital. Dark. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, what else do you do? Uh, I time my set. Have to fucking time your set, I right? Because like set, you have, you, dude, it got switched on me last minute one time at a show. They're like, you get set for five minutes. It's easier to add on, right, and say, oh, that's all I got. Then to cut out, right? Then to cut out. Yeah. But they cut out a minute, and I was like, fuck, where, where, where do I stop? Right, so timing is like a big, big fucking deal, and it sucks when you're up there and it just fucking gets cut off on you and you're fucked, dude. Mm. So my thing is like I always make sure to ask every host, "What does the light mean to you? Is it one mm. minute or two? two minutes, because like minute. people people do change it. Yeah. So like if it's one minute, then I know as soon as I see the light start my closer yeah boom because i i've timed my closer to be one minute long for that reason exactly so like me too and and even if they say they tell me like oh the light means two minutes no it means one minute like i need that like yeah yeah, like accommodate please because just done i got my shit down yeah by the way adam uh headlock says what up fool (laughs) oh hey i that guy is fucking awesome he's fucking (laughs) like i've I've watched that guy start uh back at uh jj's Yes. Oh, they were just uh, talking we used about to do that the competitions, we mm-hmm. and, uh, and he won. Yeah, he he won. Um, yeah, he was he was barely starting out. I had a hard time figuring out, you know, whether he was white or Mexican. That was fun. <laughs> and um, I think so does he. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do like like I actually listened to his uh, his thing on the podcast, and like I do like how oh, yeah, he's, he's able to change between the two. You know? <laughs> he's a shit dude. Yeah, that's a privilege. Yeah, honestly though. Awesome. So like, white check privilege. your fucking privilege. Yeah, check it, motherfucker. It's point five privilege. Just kidding. Uh. He rolls yeah. with an advantage if anybody has ever played Dungeons and Dragons in this uh, group. <laughs> JJ's in the house. That's what he says. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. That's funny. You guys look like you've had sex before, so I'm pretty sure you haven't. 
I have no fucking idea what that game is. I even played the shit. <laughs> and that honestly is a joke because the people I, oh, I know who do play Dungeons and Dragons, they fuck. Like, <laughs> like don't don't get anybody to like nerdy people. Oh, oh they get fuck. down. Oh, they yeah, they get down. I always shit, thought man. Dungeons and Dragons That's people were the type of people that would say like. You know, we have sex, but there'll be none of that hard fucking in my house. Like World of Warcraft people, Honestly, like, a lot of the Dungeons and Dragons people I've met are, like, more of the, like, down for sex toys. Like freaks. Yeah, yeah. pure freaks. That's been my experience of meeting them. I don't play the games, but... Do they do the role play, like, in fucking... Like, during it? During? They're like, oh, I rolled a fucking six. Wearing fucking foxtails and shit. (laughs) <laughs> I've met up, you I've, know, met, I've uh, met way too many people who like who fuck, wear the this, foxtails but like this dick is 10 inches I'm not, longer I'm not, girl I'm not, a, I'm not a king shamer though like it, the foxtail is pretty cool it makes it makes things fun okay okay <laughs> my Rab- thing is though, like I just I don't necessarily want to fuck a fox right <laughs> But I haven't met the right fox. I'm like, you nothing ever like is off the table. Right. Never say never. That's yeah. That's what I always tell my kids. That's what I always tell my kids, which uh, kind of brings us to our topic of the day or the dumb topic, um, which is talking about adultism. And my kid, dude, um, so I don't know if you know, I don't, for this is for the people who don't know what adultism and just to be 100% transparent, I didn't know what it was, so <laughs> I looked it up. Uh, and it's basically the idea of adults thinking that they're better than kids, children, you know? Um, and you have to check yourself a lot of times, man. You know, like with my kid, like I, I'll sit there and I'll be like trying to push some shit on him and this is the right way, this is the right way. And then I love him to death, dude. And, and, and I hope you fucking see this one of these days. Uh, I love that you check me. I love that you take your time and you think about what to say and you communicate. That shit's big, dude. Hell yeah. And that's what checked me with this adultism shit. I was like, when I first read, I was like, oh, that adults are better than kids. I was like, well, that's because that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but then, you know, that happened. And I was like, uh, not all see, the time. Well, it's see, just like I ageism. Honestly, yeah. I always believe that it, that kids are better than adults. Like, yeah, why? It's because they got, a, they got a fresh look at the world. We have this, like very fucked up version Uh based on who we were at one point and what we have experienced Uh so they have they're just getting all this shit fresh so like think about whenever you've started a new job right yes and there's those there's those new people who like they just got taught this shit and you've been there for five years and you're like i'm just remembering shit and making shit up actually honestly i gave up two years ago i don't even do it this way uh (laughs) I do it this way. You could do it that way too, but don't don't, don't tell nobody I showed you that. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That's how you are as an adult. But the right. kids are they're they're learning everything fresh, and right. e- and even so, they're picking up on the new because like the world is evolving, right. and they're picking up on that faster than we are. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, like with me, like I I am way more progressive than my father, and my father is more progressive than his father. Right. It, and mm-hmm. it just it goes, yeah. yeah. So if, if we could keep an open mind and listen to kids. Yeah. yeah and you, and you bring up a good point about the job thing, man, is that, you know, when the new people do come in, they bring th- that, the new ideas of you, what you're teaching them, but with the, hey, well, what if we did it this way, you know? Yeah. And that's what every fucking corporation is always looking for, man. That new, fresh mind that is into what everybody's doing. If you're in it and you come in here and you give a, a good suggestion that helps the whole fucking team come up, mm. that's fucking big, you know? So, yeah. I mean, adultism is... When you think about it, it's like, I was like, oh, it's true. It's true because of that cycle that we're talking about. But it's it's not. It's just one of those things that we've always been taught and it just keeps passed down to, to us and keeps going. So it's got to stop somewhere. Check yourself. Um, how to do it, man. Fucking be honest. You yeah. Know what I mean, shut the fuck up sometimes. Don't fucking be talking all the time. Here I go with the cuss words again. Just don't always be talking. Listen, even if they're kids. You never know, man. Kid could come up and tell you the, the, the perfect thing that you needed to hear at the perfect time. Honestly, I feel like that has to be in the Bible somewhere. Shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> because, like, 
like real shit. Like I, sometimes I find myself arguing with my daughter. My daughter's five and uh, me and my wife, we find ourselves arguing with her. And sometimes we're just like, you know what? Let's take a step back and just listen to what she has to say. Like one time she was saying that she wanted like candy. It was nine in the morning. Like you can eat, you need eat breakfast first. You're not going to get fucking candy. Right. But she's like, well, uh, she's five, by the way. She's fucking smart. She's like, well, you, you let me, uh, a Nutella sandwich, that's, that's, that's chocolate, that's sugar. Mm. Why can't I eat candy? And I was like, you know what? <laughs> this one time, I'm going to let you, and then we're going to stop doing Nutella sandwiches for breakfast. Because, nice. like, yeah, now that you mention it, that's way more sugar than that candy has. Because you got to think the two breads is sugar, right. and Nutella in between right. is sugar. Right. <laughs> like, that's, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we, like, we got to rethink shit. Like, bre- we don't have breakfast cereal at all. Like and we we don't fuck with that. Like, okay, okay. It, it is candy. Breakfast breakfast cereal is candy. I I can't give up cereal, but I've I've cut down a lot. Like, and the only reason is because I learned that there's a preservative in most cereals. Oh shit! Now I'm gonna get killed, Kev. Uh, there's a there's a BHT in it, and it's in every every fucking. That's a boy cereal. band, right? Huh? BHT. BHT? <laughs> it's a boy band. Yeah. I think Bobby Brown was from that. Uh, boys that? hot. Tamales, Time. taint, taint, you say taint? <laughs> taint? <laughs> taint. <laughs> boys hot taint. taint. <laughs> that brown, sounds like brown. that sounds like that sounds like Epstein's taint. last What's your search. Cereal? <laughs> that sounds like Epstein's last Google search. He loves it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's. Time for the Jiggity 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 Joke Session! Yeah! Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, that was hype. Jiggity jo- I was hype, dude. That was amazing. He always does the best hype. fucking job. The Jiggity Joke Session is going down, baby. We've got three comics in the house tonight. Count them one, two, three. All right. And tonight, sir. Damien, since you are our special guest, you Woo. get to go first, yeah. sir, whenever you're ready. Oh. Bump the mic there. It might be a little gross sounding. Jiggity yeah. jokes. Oh, I'm not supposed to read that part. <laughs> All right. Con Yee West changed his name. So in 2024, we'll be voting for Sleep Ee Trump Ee or just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had to beat that Michael Jackson for a while. Nice. Very good. Very good. Oh, I right. felt good. I think I woke in something. Yeah. <laughs> Great reading, sir, for the first time on the Dumb Podcast. <laughs> and don't feel bad. None of us can read you. So. Please believe um, All right, Kev the All-Star, you are up. Woo. I found that funny. <laughs> Yo, what up? Cool. Let's do this. And we all know that I'm a great great reader. All right. Jiggity joke. Number two. Kids do some dumb stuff, and it's hard to understand (laughs) their thought process. When my kid borrowed the car, I asked, what are you doing with the car tonight? She said, I'm staying over at my friend's house. I said, I understand. I understand that, but why is your mattress strapped to the roof of the car? She said, cuz I'm sleeping there. It's okay. <laughs> Kids are weird, man. Car. Kids are weird. Sleeping on the car. I guess. I don't uh, okay. know. thought she could take her. Time. I just sleep while I'm I driving like everyone car. else. Or sleep <laughs> while yeah. you're driving yeah. like everyone else. Why waste else? time? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Multitasking. All right. right. All right, uh, my turn? Yes. All right. Did anyone else lose their taste from COVID? Mm. I couldn't taste anything. I couldn't feel joy. I finally understood why white kids kill their parents. (laughs) This is what you deal with daily? (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, uh, Damien, sir, you are up. Cool. 
Do I get the live back or do I like? You do get the live back. <laughs> like yeah. style. I like his style. <laughs> I like feeling like I'm talking to people. Uh, <laughs> Google song search is racist what? because whenever I hum a song into my phone, it doesn't matter what song it is. Google ends up playing the cucaracha or la bamba it's bullshit <laughs> <laughs> fucking nice nice that's funny oh, uh, alright Kev the all star you are up alright this is a simple question are people with multiple personalities allowed to drive mm. I do and if so can they use the HOV lane <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's good. That's a, that is some good <laughs> shit question right there. I like that. Nice. nice. Comment below. Yeah, if somebody does, let or me know. Or if it's you. Because I'm already doing it. Um, all right. Uh, my turn? Mm -hmm. All right. Number two. The live has been on me but the whole time, by the Fuck. way. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number two. Nobody's even there. So oh, yeah, it's true. Comedians. <laughs> no one likes com us. Comedians, attention whores. <laughs> So the live has been on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Earlier today, I saw a Tesla with a flat tire on the side of the road. Thinking the owner could use a jack, I turned around to lend a hand. When I pulled over and seen the owner, I couldn't believe my eyes. He was watching YouTube videos on how to change a tire. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Oh, my God. Sounds like my kids. Special. Nah. Honestly, the first time I changed a tire was from a YouTube <laughs> no video. No shit. Nobody, was it you, bro? Nobody taught me shit. Like, I, I had a no I had shit. Use YouTube. Hey, yeah. Hey, man. Also, my first time changing a battery. Okay. And this is on YouTube. Hey, so. we love YouTube. I mean, yeah. YouTube does work. Right. Learn YouTube how to do work. comedy by watching this podcast hey. on youtube um or learn how not to do it huh? yeah exactly the, when you learn the not to you learn the how to i like the pros and cons it's all pros i like the cons uh <laughs> hey you're kevin the all-star you should like the cons too all right sir you are oh no way i'm uh, third you're up damien first ramos <laughs> Birmian. Slamian. Slamian. Ramos. That sounds kind of net dirty, you know? Slamian? Like, Slamian. It's like a sternum rub. Like you're sl <laughs> like licking her from the pussy all the way to the mouth. What? Slamian, that, you know? Jesus. You do the Slamian. That's like normal. I don't know. Like, yeah. Away from the back I'm going to start doing up. that now, though. Just like. Uh, <laughs> from the back door. I'm going to start calling it the Slamian. Oh. Yeah. From the back to the front. Wait. You should get a UTI with that. Um, I start from the clothes. <laughs> there you go. And then go in. Yeah. And then go in. Because you got to lick the clothes first and then you. <laughs> right. Yeah. You, you can't just like, can't just go straight to like a naked person. You got to like. That's weird. Hook up with the clothes first. <laughs> right. In the closet. Yeah. Start start Mormon and natural. <laughs> hey, there you go. Because right. the opposite of natural is Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> like them like I like my wings dry rub. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, shit. I am in. <laughs> I'm I ain't been 16 in a long time. Uh, <laughs> I've been dry humped before. <laughs> uh, we like could just rub your. Like, we could throw on some Smash Mouth, together. really make it like uh, <laughs> like old times, you know. <laughs> I say Smash Mouth for you guys. Oh. I am, uh, <laughs> what? Blink 182. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was more of a fallout boy. Uh, oh, fall out boy. That, was, that was big when I was corn. a go. child. That's us, corn. Uh, corn. All right. Cause it's corn. Cause it's corn. Fucking like greatest kid ever. I forget. That kid's gonna be the next star, dude. I think they set him up to come out nah, on like uh, oh. all kinds of shows now. Watch. Yeah, no, nah, he will. Calling it. Don Dario called it right now. All right, Damien, you are up, sir. <laughs> Pre two thousand missionaries were OGs. The only thing protecting them was G-O-D. Today, missionaries don't know what would Jesus do. They only know, hop on a 10 speed, they've got the helmets for protection, knee pads for sucking, and 10% if they're fucking. Can I get an <laughs> amen? Amen. Amen, brother. Yeah. 
<laughs> nice. Good I don't good. fully understand what I said, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great part of it, right there. It is great. <laughs> All right. Um, You're up, next. Kev. Yep. Am I up? Yes, All right. Next up, the bat is this guy right here. You need to think big, bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you have sex with an Olive Garden bathroom, <laughs> bathroom <laughs> with the bathroom. Whoop. Don't. Let's rewind that shit. <laughs> Do not have sex with the bathroom. Leaving that in. Fucking, <laughs> a fucking sternum rub. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even fucking look at this paper. <laughs> All right. If you have sex with an olive garden, <laughs> somebody really want to have sex with an olive garden bathroom. <laughs> Got to speak it into existence. Oh man! man. You go to olive garden. Oh man, the breadsticks and sex. With That's the bathroom. why you didn't relate when I said I'd keep my junk out of the toilet because you're trying to fuck, the bathroom. Trying to fuck the bathroom. <laughs> He's like, I he keep like, it wait in. A minute. Like, I put it, bro. I put it in the bathroom. Toilets give the best. Dick in the water is the best part. Toilets give the best head. Every time I flush, it's. <laughs> You ever felt that fucking scoop underneath? That's his little hole? <laughs> all all right. kinds of good stuff. <laughs> all kinds of good stuff. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> okay. Since we went there, have either one of you, do you guys ever do the pre-flush? What, yeah. While you're like flushing, you know, just add water? You ever done that? Oh. And that shit floods, and you've got just sh balls. shit floating right there, and you got to get up while. It, yeah. It's you it know, once. it's a really bad, just. It ain't like bad that. Situation. That's why I keep my shit in my lap, because it can't. <laughs> situation, man. All right. All right. Oh. I'm going to read this. <laughs> I'm going to read this. I bet after this podcast. Y'all gonna be keeping it in your lap when you go to a public <laughs> Like I said, we're all trying new stuff. Yeah, today. like it's message me when y'all do it. I don't. You don't need to send pictures. Just <laughs> message me. Just just me. Yeah. Let's take like, a yeah, picture. Yeah, mission accomplished. <laughs> I call it the fruit basket. <laughs> I call it the catcher. <laughs> the catcher. Just <laughs> that was good. The stroller. The, str the, the Amazon. <laughs> you got to shave. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh God. If you have sex in a Olive Garden <laughs> bathroom, is it considered incest? Because when you're there, you're family. I guess it doesn't matter because my cousin has a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good, sir. Shout out to Monica. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Monica. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh... <laughs> My turn. Uh, <laughs> if you don't have kids, shut the fuck up. You're bad at having sex. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> would you say you're good at basketball if you've never made a basket? Mm. My grandma, she has 18 kids. <laughs> Best pussy in town. <laughs> That's what it says on her headstone. Grab on Gina. Best pussy in town. Oh, yes, very good, very good. Oh. All right, Damien, uh, you are up, sir. All right. So, any of y'all comedians? I'm a comedian, and I remember my first time doing comedy. Mm -hmm. And my first time doing comedy, it was a lot like my first time having sex because my, how good I did depended on their response, their reaction. I was nervous. My palms were sweaty. My knees were weak. My arms were heavy. Y'all know the deal. Yeah. Vomit on my sweater already. Yeah. And my spaghetti. And <laughs> not only that, I knew that there were going to be hecklers. And I was really nervous about the hecklers because, like, a lot like my first time having sex, my parents were filming it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just did not want to disappoint nobody, you know? <laughs> nice. Nice. Very 
very nice. Damien, dude, oh, you killed it, dude. Yes. Thank you so much for being yes. here. Oh, to the you. funny. Uh, are there great. any? Actually, no. Before we do that, you have to guess who wrote these jokes. Yeah. So definitely. you don't have to say the whole joke all over again. You can say One. just like maybe the either punchline or the, the subject of the joke. Uh, and then who wrote it don or kev the all-star so i'm gonna go a little racial on this one uh the kanye he he i feel like that was kev yeah boom okay on it, on it. boom nice one for one. one for one one for one for one he's off to a good start yep. and the kukuracha one i do feel like that was kind of written to 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 throw me off because it does say uh, oh wait, it says it's bullshit. I thought it was or some bullshit because, like, you know, you probably don't know Mexican songs. Um, <laughs> neither do I, though. I'm not that kind of Mexican. I'm just gonna assume this is Don. Oh! Was I right? Oh, two Lucky for with two. Us. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were gonna slip I up thought you were right gonna there. Fuck I was like, you're gonna fuck it up. Damn. He's gonna fuck it up. I'm good at, I'm good right. at games. We got him. We got him. All right. Yeah, let's see right. what this third. Well, hey, so, still, still got. Still, there's still. Th- three, still three. Two thousand missionaries. See where he goes. So. You use the phrase OGs. So was that Kev? Damn! Oh, 3 for 3! 100%! Ding, ding, ding! I think he just became 1 of 5? 1 of 3 out of 4? 1 of 4? Woo! I gotta count them, but yeah. Good job, man! Good job, man! Good job, man! All right. Thank you. Good you did job, great. Man. You did great. I'm like Rain Man when it comes to. Uh, oh, you are. He said he was a fucking gamer. Yeah. yeah. He came with the shirt and everything. Yeah. He's not he was playing. D and D us the whole time. Damn. Wait, that didn't sound right. And he yeah. had the uh, delay in there. You know that it gave him the old D and D. The Don Dario. Don Dario. <laughs> Soon to be Dirty Dick, Don Dario. <laughs> thought it was uh, Dungeons tonight. and Dragons, oh, but we just found out it doesn't. Yeah. It's Dungeons and Dario. Dungeons Dude, and Dario. if you ever make a porn, <laughs> it should be Dungeons and Dario. Oh, that should be my first, Jesus. like, uh, special or something. If yeah. yeah. Your fucking headline, your net, net, oh, Netflix, yeah, call my boy. Oh, yeah, do, yeah, it, do it for comedy, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah do it for not comedy. Porn. Not just, yeah, not yeah. Porn. just for porn. Not porn. I mean, you guys. Not can, porn. You guys can get down in the Olive Garden bathroom before you come, or screw the toilet inside <laughs> of the comedy uh, club. Oh yeah. You can come after you go to the Olive Garden. You bathroom. can also do it in the shower before you, can you can take come a shower. Whenever you yeah. Want. <laughs> we we learned that today. That's you, true. You do I not have to have running water when you masturbate. That's right. No dry rub. And aim for the <laughs> negative space. <laughs> Looks like you like your chicken wings. <laughs> Real shit. Chipotle dry rub goes hard. <laughs> someone That's out there. That's a plug right somebody, there, baby. So, Someone out there. Before someone can... out there calls their dick Chipotle. <laughs> oh. Or their, or, or their hot spot, the, the ladies, you know. I call mine Pollo local. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start calling my dick the Chipotle dry rub. We thank you for all your support here at the Dumb Podcast. Now, we want to hear from you. So if you have any jokes you want to hear on air, send them to us, and we'll make sure you're on the next episode. Also, if you'd just like to say hi or give us your feedback, we'd love to hear it. You can reach us by email at thedumbpodcast at gmail.com. That's T-H-E-D-U-M-P-O-D-C-A-S-T at gmail.com. Or by phone at 602 935 Seven three zero seven. You've got three minutes. Now let's hear it. This episode is brought to you by Aguilas Hitaway Lighthouse. It is an American pub and grub where the drinks are offered in a low key hangout environment with sports on all the TVs, pool tables, karaoke, and comedy performances. Y'all got to check this place out, man. Yeah. Aguilas Hitaway Lighthouse. It is on the corner of El Mirage and Indian School Road. Damien, thank you for being yes, here, thank sir. You, thank you for adding to the funny. Are there any shows, uh, uh, social media handles, or websites you want to promote right now? So you can find me on Instagram uh, under Slay Me In Comedy. So that's S L A Y M I A N Comedy. You know how to spell that. And uh, I don't have many shows coming up. So you, if you're booking, book me. Boom. I'm I am looking. quite Boom. the funny man. And uh, I do have, because I feel like I would really disappoint Evers if I didn't say this, but I have a hard time remembering dates. There you go. December 8th, 2022. I will be at the Purple Turtle. Y'all motherfuckers go. Yes. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see the flyer when it goes up. Yep. I look pretty. I'll be on that picture and shit. 
and uh, go laugh. Also, the wings are great. They have good yeah. wing mm -hmm. deals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are my stomping grounds. Don't leave your laptop in the car, but <laughs> be Listen there. to what he be says. Be there. Do it. It's a great environment. It's going to be a great show. Fuck yeah. Everybody go to that show. High energy. High, High energy. energy. Yeah. Damon's going to Real kill energy, it, too. Thank you for being here, not sir. Not no sympathy laughs. They're not laughs Nothing that are just like given that. to you. It's It'll be my first shit. 20 minutes, too. Hell, so there you oh, yeah? Hell yeah. yeah. 20 Damn, minutes. Damn, congrats. Headliner featuring. Fuck yeah. Uh, featuring. Featuring. Nice, minutes. man. Damn. Yeah. Good job. The only time I've ever done anything like... Similar was 15 minutes clean. Damn, that's a lot, though. Ooh, that's a lot. But was you clean, clean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I was on Adderall. I don't know if that makes you. <laughs> I mean, I have a prescription, but still. Oh, that's oh, awesome, standard, dude. Thank you, Thanks man. for being here. Yeah, thank you for awesome, having man. me. Thank you for all thank that. Thank you all for watching. Kev, you no. have anything else that you want to? Man, honestly, I don't. I mean, not at this time, man. No. So we Just open. You know, check out KevTheAllStar.com and IMDb. Go watch a movie on Amazon or Hulu or some movie on, man. See if you can catch me, you know. Like, bow, there he is. <laughs> yep, yep. That's his left hand. No, just playing. For real, you'll see me. <laughs> yeah, we'll Check see me you. out, though. I appreciate the support. Give us a follow. Subscribe. Yeah. Like. T share. All that free tell stuff. Your friends. Doesn't even cost money. Tell your mom. Come on. I'll Let's tell go. your mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, for me, I do have a couple shows coming up. Uh, one is going to be at the Horny Toad in Glendale, Arizona. Uh, that's coming up uh, October 28th at 9 p.m. Um, you It's actually turned into a free show. Motherfuckers that don't buy tickets. Uh, <laughs> let's go. It's free. <laughs> Let's fill it up. Let's have fun. All right, come out. I'm hosting. It's going to be fucking awesome. It'll be a badass comedian uh, coming from the East Coast, some, from somewhere from the East Coast, but she's badass. Um, and then I got another one on November 4th at the Tosos. Uh, I'll be hosting that one as well. Uh, that one, I believe, is at 7 p.m. So uh, hit me up. Follow me, DonDarioComedy.com uh, and DonDarioComedy uh, social media. And also follow the Dumb Podcast. Man, I put so much stuff out there. We're putting a lot of shit out there. So we need to spread the word, get those subscribers up. We start blowing this shit up. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay safe. Have fun in life. Exactly. And live to laugh, laugh to live. Because without laughter, what's the point? True. Peace. And learn how to shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peace.